you ready for a Black Panther sequel or what? Yes, I am ready. I was born ready, okay? When they shaved my head, I was ready. I'm like, we need a Black Panther 3, 4, and 5, okay? okay? <laughs> you committed, so you cut all your hair off with this role? My head had to get shaved for the road. Ryan was very, very strict and was like, all the Dora Milaje's will have their head shaved. And my hair was 18 inches long. So I was fully committed. It was a sacrifice, but through that sacrifice, doors have opened. I'm living in my overflow. Um, the Lord has truly rewarded me. You can always get a wig or some weave. That part, hair grow back. Hair grows back, okay? Let me tell you, my, my steps are starting to grow back right now, okay? It was worth the sacrifice. It was in a billion dollar film, so yes. it was definitely worth it. It was definitely worth it, it was worth it. Tonight we're celebrating Veronica Loving's her premiere of Feeding a Monster. We're touching some really hard-hitting subjects. Why do you feel the black community uh, tends to avoid talking about these things versus seeking help? I think with our culture, we feel like we just got to be strong all the time, 24-7, 365 days. And I'm just like... We think it's an embarrassment. We think like, ah, if we say like we're in an abusive relationship or we say that our boyfriend is hitting us or our girl is hitting us, that it's an embarrassment. And it's not, you know, you didn't ask for it. So it's not, you should not feel any shame with seeking help. I think we need to be more vocal about it. I think when we're chit-chatting and sitting down with our girls and we're having a conversation like, oh man, you know, our dude did this or our dude did that. We need to just like really dig down deep because I feel like at that time somebody is crying for help. They don't know how to verbally put the words together. Hey, I'm in an abusive relationship. We got to look through the signs. We got to look between that and, and really like seek help for our brother for our sister because they're crying for help exactly and I think a lot of times there is a lot of victim shaming and that's what makes people scared Wh what do you have to say to those people who say oh you got a short skirt on or you must have did something you know that victim blaming what do you have to say to stuff like that uh, um, you just gotta sometimes look past those people who do that because at the end of the day they serve no purpose that victim shaming ain't doing it ain't helping nobody you know, it's not helping anybody. We got to just, okay, you don't want to help. You part of the problem. I'm going to deal with you later because right now I got a more pressing issue at hand. Um, another thing I think with our community is we don't take restraining orders very seriously. We tend not to get them. We think it's a joke. Oh, my, I got to go down to the courthouse. I got to fill this paperwork out. But it's for your safety. It really is because if you're trying to handle the situation yourself, well, first of all, it's already shown and it's evident that you can handle it. Now you need additional help. And so I think we need to just really start using the restraining orders to our advantage because I think they can help. But I think we as a community are too afraid to do that. We just feel like, oh, we can't do that. Um, we need to be stronger. We're embarrassed by it. And it's not that at all. It's just so you get one life. You, you're really strong where you're able to stand up and tell your truth and put it in a play like Veronica has done. Absolutely. So I'm so proud of her and Absolutely. I cannot wait to go inside to watch this play. I'm Same with you. I, I love it. She's like very, being very transparent with this and very open. And there are people who are going to be able to feel some things here, relate to it, and then go educate some other people. So I, I'm, I'm excited as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by Black Hollywood Live. And I can't wait to see Black Panther 2, 3, and 4, and 5, and yeah. 6. <laughs> Me too, right? Two, three, four, and five. Right? All of them. And we'll be back.